Hi, this is Pastor Mark Johnson from First English Lutheran Church in Faribault. I serve on the Southeastern Minnesota Synod's Global Ministries table and am chair of the Columbia Accompaniment Team. Jesus says in chapter 5 of Matthew's Gospel, You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one after lighting a lamp puts it under the bushel basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. The municipality of El Kikui lies in the rugged and remote hills and valleys of the eastern range of the Colombian Andes. It is home to dairy farms and small villages in the Paremo, a unique alpine tundra ecosystem. Before 1980, none of the nine rural townships of the El Kikui municipality had electricity. Difficult terrain, Sparse population and political unrest were some of the factors that kept the government and electric companies from installing electricity in the region, until members of El Salvador Lutheran Church decided it was time to take action. A group of congregation members, some who lived and farmed in these townships, came together with their neighbors and developed a plan for installation of electricity in two of the municipality's townships. The project was endorsed by Iglesia Evangelica Lutrana de Colombia, the Evangelical Lutheran Church of Colombia, and it was financed by a partnership of local, regional, and national government agencies, local residents, and the Lutheran World Federation. The effort was a success, bringing electricity to 180 families. And not only that, but the project's success paved the way for the eventual electrification of all rural townships in the municipality. From its beginnings, the Lutheran Church of Columbia, small as it is, has been a church with a great sense of mission. It shines its light through vibrant worship, a focus on learning and education, care for creation, and a commitment to peace and the protection of human rights, accompanying the poor and suffering in the struggles and complexities of life. The light of Christ has the power to touch and transform all people and all dimensions of life even through the construction of an electrical distribution system that brings actual light into homes, barns, and places of business. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for the ways our friends in Colombia join faith with action. Continue to help the church reflect the light of Christ in every land in all kinds of ways, giving glory to you. Amen. Thank you for being part of 40 Together. We now invite you and your congregation to financially participate in this initiative. Any individual can make a gift online at any time during Lent by visiting the Synod's website, semnsynod.org slash giving, selecting the green Give Online Now button, and then selecting 40 Together from the drop-down menu. Congregations are invited to consider giving $1 for every member of their congregation. For example, a congregation with 400 members might consider mailing in a gift of $400 sometime during the season of Lent. Your generosity will support Tanzanian education and health care, Colombian education, local South Sudanese hunger ministries, local refugee ministries, including resettlement, and local food grants. Please pray with me. God of relationship, we give you thanks for the blessing of connectedness. Throughout the season of Lent, deepen our relationships with one another, with our community, and with all our global partners. We pray specifically today for our siblings in Christ in Tanzania, Colombia, the U.S.-Mexico borderlands, and our local South Sudanese communities. May they have a strong sense of your Holy Spirit's nearness and guidance, and may we be inspired to accompany them in meaningful ways. In the compassionate name of Jesus we pray, amen.